Hello. First tonight, the funeral of the first British soldier to die in Afghanistan this year. Private Robert Hayes was just 19 years old when he was killed during a foot patrol in Helmand province. He'd been in Afghanistan with the 1st Battalion, the Royal Anglian Regiment, for two and a half months. At his funeral today at Burwell in Cambridgeshire, he was described as a man with physical, moral and cold courage. If respect could be measured in a silence, then Private Hayes today commanded huge respect from the near 500 people, both outside and within St. Mary's Church. In life I love you dearly, in death I love you still. In my heart you hold a place no one else will ever fill. If tears would build a stairway and heartache make a lane, I'll walk the path to heaven and bring you back again. Robert, or Robbie Hayes, became a full-time soldier just seven months before he went to war in October. The 19-year-old was killed by a Taliban bomb on January the 3rd. Today, he was described as a man who possessed physical, moral, and above all, raw courage. It uh, displayed those on countless occasions, really, uh, in engagements with the enemy in Afghanistan, but also the, the moral courage of, of being the guy at the front of his section, leading them into areas where he knew and they knew IEDs of what awaited them, you know, and that takes a, a, a very real degree, degree of courage. At his primary in his home village of Burwell, he was seen as a team player. He was one of a group of children who were very energetic, lovely children to teach, willing to learn. He was part of that group. He was a really popular boy. And the reaction, of course, was... Robbie Hayes was the second Anglian to die in Afghanistan since October, the 15th soldier from the East to be killed here in the last 12 months. If soldiering was Robbie's first passion, then rugby was certainly his second. You'd often find him down here at Newmarket Rugby Club. In a tribute, they said that he had a unique talent for helping out the club's veterans. He last played here in December, just days before he headed back out to Afghanistan. Good turnout today. Immaculate turnout today. I was proud to turn up for him. To represent him as our Burl hero, I can't talk really. I'm thinking of his And to show our support, for, obviously, for the servicemen and women, so and in Afghanistan, etc. So I think everybody needs to do their part and show their respect. As the coffin was borne out, the sun broke through and light snow fell on the mourners. From his mother, Diane, a final testament. From childhood, she wrote on the order of service, Robbie had one ambition, to be a soldier. He fulfilled his dream. Alex Dunlop, BBC Look East, Burwell.